This is the most explosive offense in Madden 23. It has unstoppable money plays. Hard to stop run plays. Run. And a one play touchdown for every defense in the game. So if you want to see what plays I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints Offense and Denver Broncos Defensive eBooks, as these are easily the two that I use the most. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, as Woo! always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my eBooks right now, you don't want to wait. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment, and you can download them instantly to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. The offense that I'm going to be using today is once again my Gunstack Y Flex offense, as I have made several videos about this formation and has been my favorite one to use pretty much all year as i probably put out a one play touchdown for every defense in the game from this formation except for maybe cover three and cover four which i'm going to add to that scheme today as well as another hard to stop money play that you can use in the red zone i've already put out a full breakdown of this offense so if you guys want to see more from this with all of the best plays i will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that but i'm going to start off this video by showing a brand new play in the fade out which might be the glitchiest play in this entire formation now when it comes to setting up my audible plays i always have the inside zone the drive age wheel and the sail and pivot as three of the five options so they have something to run against man and zone but the last two plays really depend on what my opponent is running on defense if it's man coverage i'll use the curl combo which is for man press and the z spot which is for man off if they run a lot of zone i will use the pa re which is good against cover two man and zone and the fade out which is good for cover three and cover four as all these plays are capable of scoring against any of these defenses from anywhere on the field on the first play I read cover three so I run the inside zone just to move the ball over to a hash mark which is important when it comes to setting up certain one play touchdowns especially against cover three when I get back to the huddle my suspicions are confirmed and now we have everything we need to score on the second play of the game you just want to make sure that you have your fastest receiver or best receiver at the front of the stack as he is going to be the money route on this play so I put Quez Watkins in this spot but then I have to flip the play to run to the open side of the field and when I get to the line of scrimmage Quez is on the wrong side I'm actually glad this happened though is it'll give me an opportunity to show you guys that you don't need a 98 speed receiver like Quez for this to work as Devontae Smith only has 92 speed which is plenty fast enough. Now to set this play up I already mentioned it is best to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field and this is only because you're going to need space to pass lead away from the cornerback. The only hot route you need to make is to put the B receiver on a comeback route. In Madden 23 cover 3 is easily one of the best zone coverages for pass defense in the game right now and this might be the best coverage in general as the cornerbacks are really well programmed this year to cover just about everything in their area from crossing routes corner routes and even comeback routes like this which i'm going to use against itself as the cornerback will react to this route first allowing the wheel route to sprint right past it at this point all you have to do is bullet and pass lead up and away and you can see that this is probably the fastest one play touchdown in the game for defenses like this as we score an easy one play touchdown on just the second play of the game on defense, my opponent's up to the task to match as he scores his own one play touchdown very quickly as well while I was still trying to set up my defense. Back on offense, my opponent spreads his defense, so this is a good opportunity to try to stay balanced as we break off a first down run. On the next play, I go to my favorite play, which is the drive H wheel, but I noticed as more and more people are using cover three online, that this defense might do the best when it comes to stopping the wheel route, as the curl flat usually stops me right at the catch point. So I will have to find a replacement play for this against my current opponent. Since this type of pass play to the flat is something that I use as an outside run play replacement since this formation doesn't have any. On the next play I switch to the corner strike as all I have to do is streak the Y route and the corner route gets wide open underneath the cover 3 cornerback for a big play. On the next play I read that he is switching over to man 0 so I switch over to the sail and pivot where the tight end is always open for a big play. Then on 3rd and inches I easily pick it up with the inside zone and get inside the red zone. But this is where the offense stalls, as I usually use the drive age wheel, which we already discovered doesn't work well against cover three. So after failing on the first two downs and seeing that he's running a cover three with hard flats, I switch over to my replacement play, the Y sail, as the tight end should easily get above the hard flat and underneath the cover three cornerback, as we score again to take the lead. 
Back on defense for this drive, I'm going to use the Overstorm Brave, only this is a different setup that I created that is way different than the current meta setup everyone has been using all year. On the first play, he gets nothing on the ground. Nope. And then on the second play, the pressure forces a bad throw, falling incomplete. Nope. Then on third down, the pressure gets home instantly right up the middle. Nope. As we force a quick three and out for the first time today. If you guys want to see the setup for that defense, I'll once again have the links in the description and an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Back on offense, I read cover three again, so right back to the fade out, but he user blitzes me off the edge, forcing an early throw. <laughs> So I have to come back to the ball and moss his defender. Then I run a hurry up and switch to the sail and pivot as I can do the exact same trick I did earlier from the corner strike. Then I go back to the Y sail play which is my new red zone offense for this game and you can see that it works better against cover three than the drive H wheel. On third and five I go back to the corner strike concept once again to get inside the five. Then from two yards out I can see that he goes back to the overstorm brave so I go back to the drive H wheel knowing that he has to use her the back as I get it out quick to take a two score lead. Back on defense and back to the Overstorm Brave, which is playing lights out against the run. Nope. Then on second down, he only picks up a yard before getting tackled. Nope. He decides to go for it on fourth and seven as the game is getting away from him, but the pressure is there. Nope. From the blitzing linebackers. I start the next drive with an inside zone, only to see that he is once again in cover through hard flats. So I go right back to the wide sail to hit that tight end for his second touchdown of the game. Back on defense, with only 40 seconds left, I come out of the Overstorm Brave, which might seem a little bit aggressive, but it was working so well. I see that he is running the exact same wheel route, but when I try to cover, a receiver runs into me, Oops. stopping me dead in my tracks, and allowing him to get wide open again for another huge score to keep him in the game. What the hell was that? On offense, I decided to take a shot on the first play with the fade out once again, but since the kickoff went out of the back of the end zone, I have to run it from the center of the hash marks, and you can see why it is so important to run it from the open side of the field, as I just don't have enough space to pass lead outside as I catch it out of bounds. So with 24 seconds left, I switch to the Saints fork, and even though I only have five blockers and he is sending six from the Overstorm Brave, I still get the ball out fast enough to complete the pass for a first. But I have to use my last timeout though, and now he is user blitzing me desperately trying trying to get a sack to end the half, but on third and ten I get it away and break a tackle to get out of bounds just barely with seven seconds left on the clock to attempt a long field goal that I barely drive through to take a 31 to 14 lead in the half. But my opponent doesn't go away as he starts pounding the rock for back to back big runs at the start of the second half. The second of which he almost takes to the house getting inside the red zone and forcing me to switch defenses entirely before punching it in on four straight carries. So now only up 10 with plenty of time left I'm going to have to keep scoring while I try to run clock. On the first play I use the wheel route just to get to the hash mark once again so I can set up the one play touchdown. And this is the first time I actually get to run it with my fastest receiver as I still barely catch it on the sideline to flip the field. Then on second and 10, he is running the Overstorm Brave, so I choose to hit the speed out route, which is a really good man beating option that I haven't really shown in gameplays in the past, but I still throw it early and have to bail myself out by coming back to the ball and then out muscling the DB for the ball and a good catch and run. Then inside the red zone, I go back to the Y sail again. As you can see, this route beats man just as well as it does against zone, and we get inside the five. I try to score with the inside zone, but I only get a little bit closer before punching it in with the QB sneak as we take the lead back to 17. My opponent doesn't quit though, as he is now running a hurry up, and in just two plays gets all the way down the field and into the red zone, as we come to the end of the third quarter. Then he opens the fourth quarter with a touchdown run, as he scores in only three plays. Damn it! This guy's just not going away. So since my defense isn't stepping up, my offense is going to have to. Then on the first play, I see that he's in the Overstorm Brave once again. So I use the sail and pivot play to get the first down. Then on second down, I go back to it and hit the corner route this time, which also can destroy man coverage. <laughs> as this time, we are taking it all the way to the house. On the extra point though, I must have accidentally chose a fake, which cost me a point that might come back to haunt me later. Now my opponent is just running double drags, and I'm essentially running prevent defenses like cover three just to slow him down and make sure he doesn't score too quick. But I probably should have went back to the Overstorm Brave as it was working so well early on in the game. I just didn't want to give up anything fast, but eventually he scores again even though my cornerback ran the route. What? And apparently my opponent isn't very good at math as he kicks the extra point not knowing that a two-point conversion would have made it a one-possession game. What, are you f***ing retarded or something? That ain't f***ing right. Now up 9 with 2 minutes left, I go back to the Y sale, which is honestly working, 
just as good as the drive age wheel and we start the drive with a first down. He gets me into a third and 10 I choose to keep the clock running before going for it on fourth and five. And just like I have in so many critical situations in this game, I go back to the Y cell one more time to pick up the first down with the tight end once again. Now that the game is pretty much over, I'm thinking about a 50 burger for the purposes of this video. And since I have a nine point lead, I try to hit that route again. Only this time he picks up on it and is stopping me for the first time today. With only 19 seconds left, he bombs it up and I'm once again just trying to slow him down as he mosses my defender before calling his last time out with only four seconds left before scoring a meaningless touchdown to end the game. You may be thinking that I got lucky and got away with this one, but if I was only up eight, I would have definitely took a knee and ended the game instead of trying to score more points. And we get an interception on the two-point conversion anyway. <laughs> So that's it, that's the vid. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have some links to more plays from this offense and the Overstorm Brave setup I was using early in the game popping up on screen now. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.